let's find the determinant of the given matrix. First of all, we should check if the given matrix is a square matrix, since determinants only exist for square matrices. Our matrix is of the size 4 by 4. It means that everything is alright and the determinant can be found. Recall the formula allowing to calculate the determinant of any size. It goes like this. Delta, which stands for determinant, equals sum for i or j equal from 1 to n of negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j times a sub ij times m sub ij. Now let's see. i is the number of row. j is the number of the column. n is the number of rows or columns in the given matrix. This first factor, negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j, can only be of the value of positive or negative 1, so it only influences the sign in front of the summand. a sub ij is the entry of a given matrix number ij, and m sub ij is the corresponding minor. Recall that minor is a determinant of a matrix which is formed from the initial matrix by crossing out i row and j column. This formula means that we're setting one of these two indices to a constant and the other index is changing from 1 to n. And it means that basically we're picking a row or a column. And then we take entries of this row or column and use them for finding the determinant. It's best that we choose uh, the row or the column containing zeros or the least possible networks. I suggest that we pick third row. It means that we're setting i to a value of 3. Then our matrix is of, of the size 4 by 4, therefore n equals 4, so it has 4 rows and 4 columns. And considering this, our, uh, the formula is transformed into the following. Delta equals sum for j from 1 to 4, since n equals 4 of negative 1 raised to the power of i plus j but we've set i to the value of 3 so we have 3 plus j times a sub 3j times m sub 3j now let's substitute j's into this formula and we'll have the following negative 1 raised to the power of 3 plus 1 times a sub 3 1 times m sub 3 1 plus negative 1 raised to the power of 3 plus 2 times a sub 3 2 times m sub 3 2 plus negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 times a sub 3 3 times m sub 3 3 plus negative 1 to the power of 3 plus 4 times a sub 3 4 times m sub 3 4 Now let's have a look. a sub 3 1 equals 0. Therefore, this first summand equals 0. And the same situation we have with the second summand, since a sub 3, 2 equals 0 as well. So the second summand equals 0. a sub 3, 3 and a sub 3, 4 are non-zero elements, so we can substitute them into the formula. So we'll go like this. <clears throat> Negative 1 to the 6 equals simply 1. Multiplied by 1 and by minor m sub 3, 3. Plus negative 1 to the 7th equals negative 1 times negative 3 and times m sub 3, 4. 
and that is equal to m sub 3, 3 plus 3 times m sub 3, 4. So the formula we're going to use to find our determinant, the determinant of our matrix, will be m sub 3, 3 plus 3 times m sub 3, 4. I'll write it down separately. Delta equals m sub 3, 3 plus 3 times m sub 3, 4. As you can see, we only need to calculate two minors, m33 and m34, instead of four. And that is because we've picked the row with two zeros. Let's begin with the minor m33, and let's form it first. So m33 is a determinant of the matrix, which is formed by crossing out third row and third column from the initial matrix. So we're crossing out third row and third column and thus obtain the required determinant. 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, negative 1, and 4. Now we can calculate this determinant using this formula as well, since it works for determinants for, uh, of any size. But since we're dealing with a determinant of the size 3 by 3, I suggest that we use the triangles rule. It's quite easy and seems appropriate. along the main diagonal, 1 times 1 times 4, and then add the product of the elements lying in a triangle next to this diagonal. Negative 1 times 1 and times 1, and then add the product of the elements lying in the second triangle. negative 1 times 2 and times 3. And then we subtract the product of the elements lying along the reverse diagonal. 1 times 1 times 2. And then the elements lying in this triangle. 3 times negative 1 times 4 and the second triangle. One times one and times negative one. So we have four minus one minus six minus two plus 12 and plus one. Now these ones Cancel out. And we have 8. So our first determinant, first minor, m sub 3, 3, equals 8. Now let's form our second determinant, minor m sub 3, 4. And that is a determinant of a matrix formed from the initial one by crossing out third row again and fourth column. So the minor goes as follows. 1, negative 1, 0, 3, 1, 4, 1, negative 1, 0. 
again using the triangles rule, we have 1 times 1 times 0 plus negative 1 times 4 times 1 plus 3 times negative 1 times 0 minus 1 times 1 times 0 minus 3 times negative 1 times 0 minus 1 times 4 times negative 1. So we have 0 minus 4 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0 and plus 4. So m sub 3, 4 equals 0. And we could have uh, set that right away because, as you can see, this determinant has two equal rows, which means that it corresponds to a degenerate matrix. And so, uh, now as we have both minors we need it, we can calculate the determinant of our matrix. We have 8 plus 3 multiplied by 0, and that obviously equals 8. And that is our answer.